Hello guys, this is Dapsnish Mill. In this video, we are going to take a look at how to configure the login tools using MySQL. So I have four pages set up. I have the login page, which is the index page. I have the admin page. I have the sign up page and I have the logged in page. So if you log in through this login page and you log in with rightful details, you are going to be redirected to this particular page. So I'm going to come back to the index page that contains our login tool. And I'm going to go ahead and double click on our login object here. And when we scroll down to the database section, we have the database type. And when we click on the drop down arrow, we have flat file, we have MySQL. In our case, we are going to use the MySQL. Now, in order to continue with this, let's come to our browser. I have a local host installed, which is WAMP. And if you are on Mac, you can install MAMP. And if you are on Linux, you can install Linux. So I'm going to go to local host to configure a database I'll be using in my project. So when I come here, all I have to do is to go to PHP my admin. And I'm going to go to database. I'm supposed to create a database which will be used in our project. Before doing so, let me come to users so that we take a look at the users we have already have on our uh, in our database. I created Dapsen, but I'm not going to use that for the configuration. You're going to use root, and the root has no password. So I'll come back to database. I'm going to create a database called login. I'll hit on create, and this time around, I'm going to come back to the application. Now I'm going to configure the details over here with my SQL, that's uh, my localhost SQL. So the database name I created was login, if you can remember. I didn't create any password, so I'm going to leave that blank. Now the server uh, is going to be localhost because I'm running this on the localhost. And the data, uh, database table name is going to be login. I haven't created that yet. I'm going to get a code which this uh, application is going to generate for me automatically, which I'll be using. Now the username is root. Now when I am done with this section, I'm going to hit on create database. And when I hit on create database, a table is going to be created as well as this code. All I have to do is to copy this code. Come back to my browser. That is, um, I'm going to go to the database I created. So I created a database called login. So I'm going to go to the login database. I'm going to switch to the SQL section. Now I'm going to paste the code in here. All I have to do is to hit on go and then my table will be created. So I'm going to come back to my application. So all I have to do is um, now I'm going to change the login. Um, after a user has been logged in successfully, where should the user be redirected to? So the user should be taken to the logged in page. So I'm going to select that page as my destination page. I'll go ahead and hit on OK. Now I'm going to go to the admin page and I'm going to configure the MySQL section as well. So I'm going to change the database type from flat file to MySQL. The database name is going to be login. The password is going to be none. Database, uh, that's the MySQL server is going to be localhost. The um, MySQL data, uh, table name is going to be login. The username is going to be root. I'm going to scroll to the top and I'm going to change the, okay, uh, I think that's what I have to, okay. Let me just change the admin password from password to admin. I'll go ahead and hit on okay. Now I'm going to go to the sign up section. I'll double click on this. I'm going to go to the database section. I'll change this from flat file to MySQL. I'm going to change the name from database. Um, that is, I'm going to change the name to login. The password is going to be blank. The server is going to be localhost. The table name is going to be login. Then MySQL name, username is going to be root. I'm going to scroll to the top and I'm going to look for the destination page for that is a uh, before I go to the destination page, I'm going to go to the account activation. So the account activation is going to be done by the administrator. I'll scroll to the bottom and I'm going to look for the destination page. So if you are done signing up, there should be something that's going to happen. So I'm, I'm just going to select the index page. I'm not going to select any verificated page. I'll go ahead and hit on OK. Now I'm going to go to the login and I'll double click on this protect uh, page here. So if you are logging in with a uh, wrong user details, it should take you to the index page. That's the login page. So I'll go ahead and hit on OK. Now I'm going to go ahead and publish this project. I'll hit on the publish. I'm going to create um, that is a directory where I'm going to publish this project. This is supposed to be in the um, local host server you have installed. So I'm going to hit on new um, local folder. I'm going to browse to the location. So I'm going to expand computer, expand local drive C, Expand one because I am using the one lo um, local host server. Then I'm going to expand the one directory. That's the www directory. I'll hit on it and create a new um, folder. I'm going to make this uh, because I already have login created. I'm going to make this login one. I'll go ahead and hit on OK. Hit on OK and hit on publish. So I'm going to publish all the sites I have here. I'm going to hit on done and I'm going to open my browser. 
I open a new tab and I'm going to type localhost. I'm going to type login, then hyphen one. I'll go ahead and hit on enter. But this brings us to the login page. We don't have a user account. So in order to create a user account, I'm going to go to the user account. That is the sign up page. So let me just get rid of this. I'm going to go to the sign up page. So sign up dot PHP. I'll go ahead and hit on enter. I'm supposed to create a, an account because I don't have an account in this database. So I'll go ahead and hit on um, create an account. So the username is going to be Dapsen. The name, full name is going to be Dapsen. Password is also going to be Dapsen. Then the confirm password is also going to be Dapsen. The email is going to be info at dapsenishmail.com. I'll go ahead and create user. So my user is going to be created because I set the login page to my, that is uh, my destination page that's why i have this as my destination page by real world you may not want to do this you may probably have to set a rightful login um, that is a destination page so my account has been created to activate the account i have to go to the administrator page so i'm going to go to the admin page so admin.php now the user um, the password i set was admin i'll go ahead and uh, hit on enter and as you can see our user has been created so all i have to do is hit on edit and i'm going to change the stated form I'm not active to active. I'll go ahead and hit on save. Now I'm going to go back to the login page. So let me just go back to the login page. And I'm going to log in with the user account I created. So Dapsen, and then the password is also going to be Dapsen. I'll go ahead and hit on login and as uh, let me just get that right. Dapsen. Password is also going to be Dapsen. Yes. Hit on login. And it looks like there's a problem here. So let's just come back to our project. Let's come to the index page and make sure we have the right um, destination page set. So I'm going to, um, this is the login section. Let me just go, uh, let me see if I can get the destination page. Okay, so we have the destination page as login.php. That's the rightful page. Now let's come here, make sure our page extension is PHP. Okay, we have that done. Now let's double click on this, make sure we Okay, because I set the access denied page, let me just change this to maybe the sign up page. Let me hit on publish again. Let me publish all this. Let me come back here and try to log in. Let me first of all refresh this page. Try to log in with Dapsen. Let me go ahead and hit on login. Okay, it looks like we still have that pending issue. Let me just get the that's the right. So let me create a new user or let me just edit the password of this since I'm not sure of the password I use. So let me just make this admin. I'll hit on save. Now I'll come back to the login page and then let me just log in with Tapsen. Then the password is going to be admin. So here we go. That is how to configure the login tools using MySQL. Thank you very much for watching. Bye for now.